testimony is very, very important. If you give testimony, you are helping your brother and your sister who are going through the same problem that we are going through before you get healed or delivered. So if you give a testimony, number one, you are covering your life because there is no way you can give a testimony and God allows Satan to come back and destroy you again. No, because glory and honor belongs to him. Then number two, the people are watching you. They are facing the same problem that you'll be talking about. Oh, I was sick. I was going through this. I was having this. Now, if you testify, it's like you are also preaching. You are giving them hope that what you are going through is not the end of the world. Or they were not, you know, meant to destroy you, but to bring you closer to Jesus and God to display his power using your situation. So testimony is very, very important. And Nilako is the mother of testimony. So when you are healed or delivered and then you go home, you sit on the testimony. You are not helping yourself and you are not helping your brother or your sister. So it's important that when you are healed or delivered, you come back and give glory and honor to God Almighty. Your brother and your sister who is watching you would want you not to be where you are. Now through you, they'll find themselves at the same place where you are testifying. If you cannot testify for what God has done for your life, you are, you are telling God that you did it by yourself. You, you know, you need to be humbled and acknowledge the presence of God. If you cannot come back, remember the 10, you know, rapers. Only one came back to Jesus. So if you come back and say, oh, this is what God has done for me, you are honoring God. You are admitting that you are a human being. You cannot heal yourself. You cannot deliver yourself. You are giving glory and honor to him. And God Almighty cannot allow Satan to come back and destroy the testimony because you honored God in that testimony. And if Satan would try to come back, God would be the one to fight your battle. But if you, you know you go and stay home, for example, you have been you know, crying for the fruit of the home and you, you came for, you know, for deliverance and Jesus delivered you, you become pregnant. You and your husband, you are now trying to be like you did it by yourself. Yes, you are a woman, you are a man, but when you are having a challenge to conceive and then you go for deliverance or healing, you are delivered and then you become pregnant, you need to go back and testify that this is what God has done. If you cannot come back, of course Adam will be looking at you. He will look at your relationship between you and God. Are you really in, you know, in that relationship with him? Are you acknowledging that it is God who made it possible for me to do it, to conceive? If you want to behave like you, you have done it by yourself, then the case will be you know, a, a, a different one. Why? Because you are not humbled. You are not acknowledging the presence of God that it is the work of God. You are trying to tell people that you know, it wasn't God, it was just no time. So that is the danger.